Hi my darlings and welcome back to another video by Auntie Darling. If you're new here, hello, hi, my name is Julie Gabache. If you are a returning subscriber, hello, love, and welcome home. Today we are doing this quick and easy get ready with me. I'm going to have brunch with friends, so I was like, let me do a get ready with me. Also, I've been promising you guys a high-end and a drugstore makeup video. So this was both a high-end and a drugstore makeup video because some of the things here I bought from obviously there's your huda beauties there's the estelle waters there's your bobby browns but also there's your la girls there's your l'oreal infatibles so i just did a whole mashup of everything um if you guys like this video please do let me know i will do more of these but don't forget to like comment and subscribe as well but with that being said let's not even waste any time but do you guys see this face it came out so beautifully i absolutely love it um if you'd like to see more of these like i said do not change that down <laughs> i'm just joking um stay tuned and let's see what we came up with i hope i aced it because i cannot talk when i'm filming let me tell you this i cannot talk when i'm filming but i hope i aced it so that being said i'll see you guys on my next video i love you bye guys my camera nearly and i mean nearly betrayed me because i thought i was filming can it isn't filming so i know my face was mad so I just want to show you guys what I used on my face. I hope I can get through this because I really don't like makeup videos because I just feel like I can't speak when I do my makeup videos. But anyway, I'm using the Bobbi Brown um, Skin Long Weight Weightless Foundation SPF 15 Full Cover Oil Free Shine Control. And I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup because i feel like this one is a bit too light for my skin and this one is a bit too dark for my skin so mixed together they give me the perfect shape so i first spray that i first spray that i first put that on my face and then i'm gonna go in with the clearance fix makeup um and then go over it on my face i love how hydrating this um what's this the spray is so now i'm just gonna go ahead and I always say this do not drag please dab like I prefer dabbing than trying do you guys see that I feel like it gives love it so like I said I love both the combination and I also realized that with them um, with the this is why I don't like makeup videos because I can't speak with the Bobbi Brown I think it's best if you put it on and then you leave it for like maybe a few minutes before you start blending it because if you don't i feel like it becomes too oily on the skin personally like for me for me for me let's just start there for me so i feel like it makes the skin a bit too oily for me so i don't like that that's why so i even added with my estee lauder because the estee lauder is not matte but it's definitely not oily like this one because the whole idea of the bobby brown one is to leave your skin looking i don't know refreshed because like they said it's skin long way it makes you, it look it makes your skin look like skin i don't know how to explain it but yeah you guys have to be patient with me because like i said this is why i don't do a lot of makeup videos so after i do this i go in with my powder because like i said i don't like it when my face is oily i don't like how that makes my skin look but also because i have a few spots of my pigmentation right here i take the pro conceal la girl concealer in the shade beautiful bronze this is going to be weird for some people but this is what i do to hide my scars some people put the the color corrector the orange one i don't like it because i just feel like it makes me look red personally so i put this one after i'm done with my with my foundation i put it on and then i go in with my sorry Woo, that was a lot of sneezing i go in with my double wear from estee lauder so i just pour it in a bit i do that i go over that part personally i just feel like this conceals my acne scarring even more so just blend that out With these ones, I don't mainly close them because they're my freckles, so I don't mind the freckles, but with the cheek ones, because I just feel like it protrudes through the makeup if I don't conceal them. So 
easy. It's not a lot of makeup also, it's just enough to get you through. So that's what I do. Guys, it's so cold. I'm wearing my favorite gown. Like I can't fathom how cold it is. So if you see me in this gown, just know that it's super super cold. So yeah, that's how I do the whole foundation thing. giving skin do you see it and go on your neck a bit <laughs> go on your neck a bit so that everything is blended seamlessly and that's how it is so I'm gonna take my sorry I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder um, powder. It's the Multi Eclat Mineral Loose Powder in the shade 03 Dark. Absolutely love this girl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some on my brush and then I'm gonna go over it like that. I'm gonna show you guys the difference. Do you see this side? It's literally giving me a skin finish, and this side it's a bit. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't like when it's when it's too not dewy. That's what not dewy, but I don't like it when it's when it's too wet. It looks wet to me, so I don't like that. So this is what I do for it to stay in place. And the funny thing is, with my makeup, everything that I do is done by mistake and by mistake I mean I would do a different step instead of a different step and then that whole that changes my whole makeup look so I'm gonna put some on my brows because obviously I'm gonna sculpt them so yeah this is how the foundation looks like okay so we are done with foundation with my brows I'm gonna do them off camera because brows are just a lot of work and I don't want to bore you guys with that okay so I am done with my brows. I used the Benefit Good Proof Brow Pencil in the color. I hope there's a color here. Um, it's written five, so I'm assuming it's the color number five. I'm not sure. So if you want to, it's not too dark, it's not too, this is perfect for me. So I always do this thing where in the beginning I use the shade that is literally the exact same as uh, my foundation because I just want that whole thing of um what's this i just want my nose when i do my contour my nose the the nose contour starts from here and everything is going to be the same color and then i love the whole halo thing going on here like i love a bright under what's this i love putting bright concealer under my brow bone because i just feel like it makes my brow go higher if i'm being completely honest with you i see some people putting a bright concealer to carve up their brows completely up to you but it looks so tacky because now your brows have a halo and it looks so bad in pictures so what you can do is on top of your brow use the same color uh, use the same um shade as your foundation or use your actual foundation because on like on top for me personally i use my foundation to just cover my brows so now i'm gonna take if you're an og here you know guys one thing about me i don't really change makeup or i don't change my makeup too much because i just like doing the same thing because i just feel like it works for me hence i don't like keeping a lot of makeup because I just feel like what's the point what's the purpose so I am using the because this video is a drugstore plus high-end um, video I'm gonna use the infallible L'Oreal infallible more than concealer I think they were absolutely right they knew what they were saying when they were saying this is more than concealer because the it's I like the fact that it's so creamy and it's so thick that's the number one thing I like LA girl is not too thick that's why I stopped using LA girl like and I haven't found anything close to the infallible that is creamy that I've been available I've seen other makeup artists use Tarte I definitely do want to try using Tarte it's available on um, what's this on cult beauty so I'm definitely gonna buy Tarte I'm just not sure of my shade but if this is amber then I'm gonna try to look for something close to amber on thingy so I'm using the infallible um, in the shade 332 amber 
and then I'm going to use the Huda Beauty the Overachiever Concealer in the shade Toasted Almond with, which is 20G so I'm just going to put this on the front of my not front though but like the beginning of my eye I don't know if this makes a difference but for me personally it has because I felt like if I do the whole thing of swooping it and making it just like it just gets a lot on the face and now you have so much product you don't know what you do with yourself so i feel like this works for me personally i'm not a fan of doing too much on my forehead because i already have a big forehead even worse now with the what's this with the braids i just feel like it makes my whole my forehead yo my whole head <laughs> my forehead bigger than what it is so i don't do much on my forehead but this is how I do it. And trust me, a little goes a long damn way. So I do this first. And then I'm going to let it dry a bit like it tacky. And then I take the Huda Beauty one, right? And then I put it right in the middle. Like right there. This one is different. I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely a different shade. But I, the day I mixed it, I love how it came out and I was just, uh-uh. Oh, I'm going to mix these two every single time because I love, love, love the way it comes out. So this is entirely up to you if you want to do the whole thing. Because some makeup artists, like, they start from here and go all the way up here with the whole um, concealer. But I personally do not like doing that because I just feel like your face gets, it's just a bit too much. And also, if you put too much product, you won't know how to work with it until you get me. And after that, you guys are going to see in the... Um, when I'm done blending this, because I love, love, love a bright under eye, I'm going to take my infallible 327 in the shade Cashmere. This one I'm going to put right here at the corners. You're just going to see how bright that um, highlight is going to be. So now I'm going to take my spray again, the clearance one. Not too much. And then just let this dry a bit and then you're going to start blending. So I'm just going to let this chill for a bit and then after that I'm going to start blending it. Let's just get one thing clear. No. <laughs> the method to the most amazing makeup is blending. Guys, if you don't blend your makeup, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Your makeup is gonna come out looking trash. You have to blend until your hands fall off. Like you have to blend until you can't even feel your hand. That's how you know that the makeup is sitting and it's gonna come out so beautifully. So blending is literally the ultimate, ultimate thing that you can do for yourself when it comes to your makeup if you don't blend it's not gonna you get me it's not gonna look like i'm gonna give you guys all the tricks i'm gonna give you guys how to not get a what's this under eye creased under eye and all stuff like that or just by blending okay so now we're just gonna blend our lives away that's all we're gonna do also notice how the concealer stays in place p because you literally gave it some space give it space give it time don't rush slow touch okay give it time that's how you know that your makeup is going to be peak because you give the thing space to just sit on your space also i feel like when it sits on your space on your face also i feel like when it sits on your face um what's this it's the well, how do i put it when it sits on your face and you give it time it gets creamier i don't know how dog but like you can't there's there's no there's no explaining this thing there's no explaining this method but just 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 do what i do okay just do what i do also when you're blending try not to go the like try not to go here because this is where your concealer is gonna go and this is where your blush is gonna go and if like this it's too bright here how is the blush going to come out you get what i'm saying so try not to go down here always make sure that you stay up here like if it goes all the way up here just know that you're doing you get me so try to stay right there don't go higher than that personally <laughs> before i am attacked personally because i'm almost certain there's makeup artists that watch my channel because I show a specific makeup artist which I will name do the exact same steps 
that I did on a specific video. I was like, oh, okay. So yeah. So now that you've blended your foundation, your concealer, right, everything is fine. And then can you guys see that little um, line there? I don't want that. So I'm going to take my foundation brush and just dab that exactly by the line. So that when you put your, your, your dark concealer, that line is not going to show you. Do you guys see that? And then if you feel like there's a harsh line there as well, because there definitely is, just go in and dab at, right at that corner. And a dab also on the the side and just a bit down there and here so you guys remember when i said to you i'm gonna put the bright um concealer so that i have a very very bright under eye i just take a bit of the sweet two seven like i said put it right there let it chill for a bit and whilst that is chilling i'm gonna take my Pro Conceal, I told you guys the shade Beautiful Bronze, the LA Girl one. I like using this one because it's not creamy. If I was doing my um, under eye, I was, was, I was definitely not going to use this one. But because now I'm contouring, I like this one because it's not too creamy. I can work with it. So I just go over it right there. And then I put some on the bridge of my nose. And then I put some over there. I don't like using this to contour as much because I like, the, I like using powder now. All of a sudden. I don't know why. I prefer powder more than cream contour. So I'm going to put a little over there. Because some people don't like um, powder. I'm putting this just for the demonstration if you don't like. Do you get me? So I don't let this chill because if you let it sit, it's going to be hard to work with because it's a darker shade, not a lighter shade. So I'm just going to... Do you guys see that? So I'm carving up my nose. Contouring the bridge or whatever and don't worry about you contouring below because we're going to fix that so if you look now my nose is a bit wide so I'm gonna go back and take my brush and then make it small again Just like that. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? Okay, so now we've let this chill for a bit. I'm gonna start um doing it. Make sure you're as close to the this is the tear duct, right? Make sure you're as close to that as possible so that the brightness of the concealer can just pop right underneath your eyes. Don't drag it. You see how it looks like and if you like me you like it more brighter you can definitely add entirely up to you like there's no because i just feel like we're all different as people some i'm almost certain they're like no but it was fine the way it was before and some are like hmm maybe she can go a bit lighter but i don't go a bit too light because already my 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 powder is a bit yellow so i like the whole contrast of it so if you guys see that part it's a bit white now do you see it it's a bit bright i absolutely am obsessed with the bright under eye like you cannot tell me anything about a bright under eye so before i've realized this sorry Woo. okay i'm gonna remove that so before you apply powder right make sure that you go over your your crease with a brush one more time so that there's no product left right there all right there's no product on my under eye i'm gonna go in now with my huda beauty banana bread easy bake loose baking and easy bake loose baking and setting powder i don't really bake let's just start there because baking is when you put a whole lot of um what's this a whole lot of product let me first do that 
baking is when you put a whole lot of product and you let it sit for a bit i like to just put it in and dab it that's what i like doing by the way this smells amazing i just dab it So it's not necessarily baking because baking is like you packing it on and letting it sit for a bit i dab because i don't like having it sit on there for a while so i pack it on i dab sorry just dab it on there everywhere where you put the highlighter dab it entirely up to you if you want to put you do this process when you blend the contour or before that so i do it before and then after that i blend my contour so i'm gonna go ahead and blend my contour now all right so everything is blended just go over that a bit because you may have gone onto your on all days on all fucking days this is the day you choose wow i'm gonna take my yo exactly stop exactly i can't believe they actually stopped so I'm gonna take my a bit of the powder and just carve my cheeks just like that not too much though just like that perfect just carve that out I can't believe they stopped okay so i'm gonna i'm done carving that out i'm gonna take some of my loose powder because i want to snatch thy nose so guys we all know that there's a noise now there's nothing we can do about it because clearly this person is continuing so i'm just gonna put that on my nose just to snatch that and then some on the side because i want a snatched nose Okay, and that's P. So time for us to snatch the nose even further. I'm using the Hermosa Flow Face Palette. Uh, Mrs. Miss, sorry, Miss Sabapu did something here. Listen, she she didn't have to snap, but she definitely went and said, "I'm going to snatch the girl's soul." And I'm absolutely here for everything that she did okay thank you i wish everything i wish this palette specifically had names though and i ordered another one because i definitely so you see guys it's almost finished i use this one to contour my my um nasal area but also i use it to contour my whole face which you guys are gonna see now so now i'm just gonna contour my nose bring that back again because we lost some of it when i was doing the whole highlight thing just right there a bit there we go and then I'm gonna go in again with this because I may have did a bit too much okay and then now I'm gonna take my angled brush you guys see that I'm going to contour my cheeks I'm not a huge contouring fan anymore because I just love having a soft face now. I don't know if you guys have realized, but I've been preaching this that my makeup has changed because I love soft beats now. I'm not a, I don't do much now. I don't do a lot. So, because I don't want that whole forehead thing, I'm bringing the whole contour down. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little bit of highlight there because I want my forehead to be smaller. And then we're gonna contour that.
all done so with my eyes i'm gonna go in with these two colors guys <laughs> i am sorry i'm not about color anymore do you see how much color that is and then do you see i only use these two literally these are the only two that i use so i'm gonna use contour it for my eyes just go over there I don't do much to my eyes anymore like i said you guys know i don't like color so the only colors you'll see on my eyes are like browns and nudes like there's no color on there and then i'm gonna take my favorite brush i wonder where it is because young but again and then i'm gonna use angel face this slightly orange one and just go over contour it like that on top This is literally not a serious eye, just something light, something cute. I'm not doing too much. Guys, makeup is all about blending. If you don't blend your makeup, trust and believe it's gonna come out looking so shit. And you're gonna be like, but I did all the steps EXO did. Yes, ma'am, you did, but you didn't blend as much. Okay, so I went off camera to do the other eye. I'm done with our eyes. We're gonna go in with blush now. I use I was sorry. I use this shade. I do not know what it's called. Like I said, it is the Hermosa Floor Face Palette. I'm just gonna go in there. It's a bit peachy, yeah. I like the peachy shade. I don't like the whole pink one. I don't do pink blush. I like peachy because I just feel like it makes my face cute. You get me? So we're gonna do that one. I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to put um, what's this blush on my nose? I don't do it anymore. I don't like it anymore. I used to love being Rudolph the Reindeer, but not anymore. <sighs> Let me go again. I love blush, so I'm gonna go off okay that is enough and then now I'm gonna take the Clarence fix makeup and I'm gonna take the Mac fix plus I'm using them both on my okay so what you do is because I feel like I don't know I have my eyes like naturally crease but like it's not that bad I hope you guys can see so if you don't want the whole because if you put fix spray and you don't do that the water is going to go inside the crease and that's going to cause your makeup to be yummy so if you're going to put fix spray just and then spray okay <laughs> by the way I bathe in this so Okay, so when that's done, I'm gonna go in with the MAC. And that's all. Do you guys see it? She's sitting. I'm sure you're like, why don't I have um, highlight on? Just wait. So I'm just gonna, I don't know how I get to do this so quickly, but yeah. Young reminder, these never come out perfectly, so don't expect them to. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. This is the Essence Liquid Ink. Absolutely love her. I have been using her since I started. And then now I'm going to use the Bad Girl uh, Bang Benefit um, Mascara. I love it because of the, the strands. They're just so small. And I don't have a lot of eyebrows. I don't have hair basically, let's just say that. Let's just start there. I don't have hair, babe. I really don't. So I'm gonna do that. And then stick my lashes on. I'm using the strip lash adhesive adhesive, sorry. Um glue from KISS. Is this from KISS, right? Yeah, this is a glue from KISS. 
Absolutely love her. It's a bit pricey for this small thing, hey? I don't understand. But yo, it does the job, so I okay, I'll suffer. But wow. I'll con So whilst my eyelashes get tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlighter. I'm using this shade because I put peach um thing I put peach blush so um this is the closest thing that I can use to it so I put it right under my right on top of my cheek sorry because I feel like when the Sun hits you it goes straight there I used to put it right here but I feel like it made my cheeks look a bit bigger so I just put it right up there and then like I said when the Sun hits you you're gonna get that glow instantaneously okay so I put it right there you can go down a bit if you want to I do sometimes go down a bit but the whole aim is for it to be up there and then I take my little brush this one and I put it on my nose right there I don't know if you guys used to follow me like if you're an OG here I will say OG like my person if you're an OG here you know that I used to do the whole line thing I don't do that anymore because I just feel like hmm it's not pee because it makes your nose even like bigger and longer than it actually is and then I'm gonna go in with brow it for my under eye absolutely love this girl and then now I'm gonna take the, the mascara that I just used for my under eye That's that and then I'm gonna take my guys I don't even remember where this is from <laughs> I don't remember where this is from I'm sorry it's not even written here but it is chocolate and you guys know I do not like lip color on my lip I do not like lipstick on my lips so I use this chocolate uh, lip liner I think you can get it anywhere and uh, if you are a Mac girl there is a lip liner called cock exactly this and I'm take my Rikai Beauty this I've loved loved love 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 these two they're even actually finishing but i love this girl the most so i'm going to put her right there ah oh, nothing like a nude lip and then i'm gonna put this one on top just to give it a bit of contrast <laughs> this look is not finished without my lashes and we are about to be pee so I'm done I'm gonna put on my lashes now <laughs> I hope I'm putting it correctly okay so we're putting on our lashes now Guys, I have this new way of putting on lashes, but I double them. Like if you have two lashes, right? Say you have um you have two lashes of the same style. 
I double those up and they give me this thick absolutely I think the only thing that I like making noise with my makeup is my eyes because I have small eyes so I feel like if I put lashes it just gives them the thing so that's why I double up my lashes because I love how it looks okay I'm gonna let those sit for a bit I don't know why they're not drying but I'm gonna go fix my hair come back and show you guys the fun so we are done with this phase it is complete it is time for me to go out and go play with other kids um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you have questions for me please do leave them in the um, do, um, in the comment section i will try to answer as many as i can and i hope you guys this this look was very simple and very easy quick whatever you want to call it um i love it and it came out so beautifully so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'm setting myself up but if you'd like to see more of these videos please let me know because i just I, I feel like i do makeup videos once in a while just to show you guys something that i've learned a new trick or whatever but if you guys like my get ready with me do let me know and i will see you guys on my next video bye